Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that is really really important to the poultry farmers, uh, whether they are broiler farmers or layer farmers, and also to the students of animal science, whether they are in undergraduate or in graduate studies. So this topic is about uh, ammonia and how it is produced in chicken farm, how it affects chicken and how can it be managed in a very simple way. All right, let's get started. So what is ammonia guys? Uh, ammonia is a gas, um, a type of gas that it's very, very strong when you feel it. So whenever you go into a room uh, full of ammonia, what happens is it instantly irritates your eyes, nose and mouth because that ammonia reacts so fast with water and water is present in your eyes, nose and uh, mucous membrane in your, uh, in your mouth and, and that irritates your, your mucous membrane in nose, eyes and mouth. So you can feel uh, irritation within a second. Uh, and uh, imagine being a chicken uh, in, a, in a poultry farm where there are thousands and thousands of chicken who are living every day in a, in a, in a farm full of ammonia. How could how could it affect them? How irritating it could be to them because uh, because of these these effects. So as a as a poultry farmer, the last thing you want is the reduced productivity of your chicken. Uh, if it is broiler, then um, then reduced uh, meat production, and if it is layer, then reduced egg production. And ammonia could be the reason to that. And you don't want that to happen uh, in your poultry farm because your livelihood and your life is dependent on the income uh, from that poultry farm. So you don't want that. So it is absolutely critical that you know what is ammonia and how it can be managed. So now we know what is ammonia. So let's try to learn a little bit about how it is produced. Uh, so in simple terms, uh, the, the, the only reason uh, ammonia is produced inside the poultry farm is because of poultry feces or poultry droppings as you can see here in the picture. So in poultry droppings uh, there is a compound called uric acid um, and a little bit of urea and what happens is when when that feces or droppings uh, reacts uh, goes to the litter, um, uh, the litter has a bacteria uh, and that bacteria has an enzyme called urease and that urease breaks down uric acid and produces ammonia. So in simple words uric acid present in feces uh, gives rise to ammonia from several chemical reactions. Uh, so from where that uric acid comes from? So uric acid has nitrogen and that nitrogen comes from the protein. So in simple terms, if you eat protein that goes inside your body and breaks, breaks down into uric acid and that uric acid goes into the feces and in feces that uric acid gets converted to ammonia. So that means high protein, high uric acid and high ammonia. So this is how ammonia gets produced and if the management of a chicken in your poultry house is uh, poor, uh, for example if there is too much water in the poultry bedding litter and uh, if the temperature is too high, if the pH of the litter is too high and also if uh, ventilation is poor and if the stocking density is really high that also can cause a high amount of ammonia in the poultry farm. So it is absolutely important that you, um, you manage those things. So now we, we know how ammonia is produced. So let's learn a little bit about um, the impacts of ammonia in, in broiler and layer. Uh, I want to make it as simple as possible. So the first impact is, is the general impact. So what happens is whenever there is a high amount of ammonia it causes irritation, right? So, um, so if there is a lot of irritation you don't want to eat anything. So imagine uh, being a chicken uh, who is irritated all the time. So it doesn't want to eat uh, the feed. So if it doesn't want to eat the feed, what happens? The growth gets affected. And if the growth gets affected, what happens? The productivity becomes less. So egg production is reduced, meat production is reduced and overall economy of the farm is affected. So that means high amount of ammonia, farm economy gets affected. 
And the other impact of uh, ammonia is, dam is damage to the respiratory system. So what happens is in the neck or neck region of uh, uh, chicken, there is a there is an organ called trachea, and in trachea there are numerous cilia and also mucous membrane. So when there is a high amount of ammonia, what happens is um, that ammonia reacts to the cilia and can damage those cilia. So that means your respiratory system gets affected and also it could lead to the injury. And if there is injury and necrosis, then there is a high chance that um, the bacteria goes there and um, bacteria such as E. coli goes there and damage further and the complication uh, arise from that there. So, so it's not only about damage of the respiratory tract, it's um, also about complications after that. And the other, other, other effect of ammonia is, as I already mentioned, it can affect the mucous membrane of the eyes, nose and mouth. And that is also called ammonia bond and that ammonia bond can lead to the damage of those mucous membrane and also corneal damage and damage of other parts of the eye. So that is another effect. And also what happens is when there is high amount of ammonia in the poultry farm and um, the, the water is really high in the poultry bed, uh, it could lead to the dermatitis that is also called contact dermatitis so what happens is the area such as breast and hock and uh, foot pad of the chicken which is constantly in touch with litter um, gets affected gets irritated and that could lead to the dermatitis which, which is also called the inflammation of the skin so what happens is it gets inflamed and uh, that uh, that could affect poultry in uh, several negative way and the last but not the least is overall impact on the on the welfare of poultry uh, so what happens is um, if you eat less your welfare gets impacted and um, if uh, if you are suffering from other complications such as respiratory damage mucous membrane damage then you feel pain and your welfare gets impacted and also several studies uh, which were done in the past have found that if you give a choice to chicken uh, regarding fresh air or the, the the environment which is high in ammonia the scientists have found that uh, chicken prefers fresh air. So that means it likes to be in a fresh air environment compared to the environment where there is ammonia. So that means it affects their behavior and because of these welfare issues, the productivity becomes less and as a farmer, you don't want that. That is the last thing you want. All right, guys, now we know about the impact of ammonia to poultry. Let's quickly learn about how can it be managed uh, in your poultry farm. Uh, I do not want to talk a lot about high tech solutions because those can be really, really expensive. I only want to talk about two things because those are really simple and those you can easily and practically apply in your farm. So the first one is diet, as you can see here. So diet, as I already said, if you eat more protein that gets converted to uric acid and uric acid gives rise to ammonia. So if you feed your chicken uh, the exact amount that the, that the chicken needs, um, then uh, there is very less chance that more uric acid gets produced and there is less ammonia per animal. So for example, there is a laying hen who, who needs 100 gram of per feed per day so it is absolutely critical that you feed only 100 gram per day because if you eat more there is more chance of ammonia more chance of production of ammonia in the poultry farm and this is very simple so it is important that you know how much protein is required per day and how much feed your bird uh, needs per day that will really really help and the on, another management strategy is the housing um, management. So in housing management, what you can do is you can control the stocking density. What that means is don't have too many chickens, um, chickens in a small area. So if there are too many chickens, uh, what happens is there will be too many, too, too, too much amount of feces and there is, um, there is chance of high production of ammonia. And also try, try to try to manage water properly so if you if you manage drinker if you have a nipple drinker there is less chance that water spills over over the litter bed and if there is low water low moisture in the litter that also um, causes less production of ammonia also you can control ventilation so if there is a proper ventilation then ammonia can escape from your farm to the outer environment that also helps helps 
managing ammonia production and other strategy could be to control the temperature to uh, not to let uh, your farm to be uh, to go to excessively high temperature so these are some of the strategies that that can help reducing ammonia in your poultry farm and uh, these uh, these steps are steps are really easy and another very important strategy is to keep your litter fresh and dry and nice all the time so if there is too much water try to make it dry and do not use the same litter for many flocks uh, because that litter gets damaged over time and there is chance that there is a high high production of ammonia so keep your litter dry fresh clean and um, and nice that also helps um, i hope this video is really helpful to you guys and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and and feel free to uh, put your comments down below thank you